Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are doing good. Children, as you all are aware that we were doing a word problem related to different operations of fraction, that is addition, subtraction that we were doing. Now in that row only yesterday we have finished some of the question and today we are going to start with some more question that is uh, related to word problem only. Now Nana was given one one by two piece of cake and Nazma was given one one by three piece of cake. Find the total amount of cake was given to both of them. So fraction of cake given to Nana that is one one by two piece. So fraction of fraction of cake. Fraction of cake given to given to Nana. What will be the fraction of cake given to Nana? The fraction of cake that is 1, 1 by 2. 1, 1 by 2. Here only you can write it in improper fraction if you want it. Then fraction of cake. Fraction of cake given to Nazma Nazma so what will be the fraction of cake given to Nazma that is 1 1 by 3 now it has been asked what is the total fraction of cake given to them so total fraction of cake given to both of them both of them what will be the total fraction of cake given to both of them that is 1 1 by 2 plus 1 1 by 3 so what we can do it will first we will change it into improper fraction and then we are going to add it. 2 ones are 2, then 3, 3 by 2 plus 4 by 3. Now first you need to find it out. LCM of 2 and 3 that will become 6. Then 3 3s are 9 and here 4 2s are 8. The sum will be 9 plus 8. 17 by 6 which can be written in mixed fraction also. 6 2's are 12 which can be written as 6 2's are 12 2 5 by 6 that will be your answer. This will be the fraction. This will be the total fraction of k given to both of them. So that only you will write it in the statement uh, also that Therefore, total fraction of cake given to both of them. That is, what is that? That is your 2, 5 by 6. Now children, uh, we'll do uh, some of the fill in the blank like you if you have been asked that. What will come in this blank? And along with that, you have been given with some fraction. So how you need to do it? So let's take some more. That kind of a question also. Now that question can be uh, come in different uh, form. You must observe the pattern. How to solve that question. Don't cram the question. You only observe the pattern. How to do such kind of a question. If the question comes in that. Okay. Now fill in the blank. Fill. Some of the fill in the blanks we are going to take it. Fill in the blanks. Question 1, fill in the blank, A part which we are going to take it, first one, that is if you have been given with a blank, minus 5 by 8, that will be equal to 1 by 2. Okay, now you need to find it out that which number will be written here, so from that if you are going to subtract 5 by 8, you will be getting 1 by 4. So to solve this such kind of a question, how you are going to do it? For solving this question, you need to do some 
settlement in the equation. So what we are going to do is this 5 by 8 will go right side and here the blank will be remaining. It will go on that side that will become 1 by 4 plus this negative will become positive once if it will be going on the other side that is 5 by 8. Now what will be the LCM of 4 and 8? Since in the table of 4, 8 will also come. So here the LCM will be 8. 4 2s are 8, 2 1s are 2, plus 8 1s are 8, then 5. 5 plus 2, what you will be getting? 7 by 8. So this 7 by 8 can, will be going to come in the blank. So if you will be subtracting 7 by 8 from that, if you are going to subtract 5 by 8, what you will be getting 2 by 8 which further will be reduced to get 1 by 4. Let's take one more example which is of same kind of a question. One more question or of same kind in the form of fill in the blank only it is given. Number 2 that is um, Blank is given minus 1 by 5 is equal to 1 by 2. Now again same kind of a question what you need to do it is blank will remain here. Now this 1 by 5 will go on that side that will become plus 1 by 5. Now you need to find it out LCM of both since both are prime numbers so the LCM will be product of both the numbers 5 2 are 10 2 5s are 10 5 2 are 10 that will become 7 by 10 so what is the answer here from 7 by 10 you are going to subtract 1 by 5 to get 1 by 2 same kind of a question was this let's take one more example related to that only and how you are going to do that question also let us see one more question. The same kind of a question. Okay. Third one. Fill in the blank. But this time 1 by 2. What will be subtracting from 1 by 2 to get 1 by 6. So how we can rearrange the values to find out answer to this question. So we can rearrange the value since this blank is going to shift it on the right side 1 by 2 this is going to on right side and 1 by 6 will come on this side. So 1 by 2 minus 1 by 6 1 by 2 minus 1 by 6 and this blank will remain here. Now LCM of 2 and 6 that will be 6 only 2 3s are 6 minus 1 what will be the answer here? The answer of blank will be 2 by 6. But you need to reduce this 2 by 6. We will reduce it 2 1s are 2, 2 3s are 6. The answer will be 1 by 3. 1 by 3 will be your answer. So 1 by 3 from 1 by 2 you are going to subtract 1 by 3 to get 1 by 6. So that kind of a question only. Now Again we will come to some word problem. We will come to word problem only. We will come to word problem. We will come to word problem. Again this fill in the blank we have done. Now let us see some word problem again related to that. Okay. Let us start with word problem now. One more word problem we are going to see. Here, a piece of wire 7 by 8 meter long broke into two pieces. Now, one piece was 1 by 4 meter long. How long is the other piece? So, length of so length of a wire. Now the total length of wire is given to you that is 7 by 8 meter. Total length of wire is 7 by 8 meter. Seven 
by 8 meter and length of one of its piece, one piece length, what is the length of one piece of that? What will be the length of one piece? Now this 7 by 8 meter wire is broken into two parts and one piece is of length 1 by 4 meter. You need to find it out. Length of another piece of what will be the length of other piece of wire that you need to find it out. So what we exactly what we are supposed to do it that is subtraction only. That total length of wire is given. What is the total length of wire that is 7 by 8 meter out of that you will be subtracting 1 by 4 to get that 7 by 8 minus 1 by 4. So what we need to do it again we need to find it out LCM of it. 4 and 8 what will be the LCM here? 8 will be the LCM. So that will become 8, 7 minus 4 2 is 8, 2 1 is 2. That will be 5 by 8. So the length of the wire. What will be the length of the wire? Other piece of the wire. Therefore the length of the other piece of the wire. So therefore this Therefore, statement is also very important. Therefore, length of other piece of the wire is 5 by 8. And what is the unit here? The unit is meter. Length of other piece of the wire is 5 by 8 meter. Fine? So, I hope this question is clear to you all. Let's take another question. That another question, another word problem which is related to subtraction only. Let's start with that other question. Now, these word problems, simply we need to do addition or either addition or subtraction. But what is important in this question to understand the method, there is some hint in the question. There must be some hint in the question which is going to tell you that what you need to do it in that particular question. Whether you need to do it addition in that question or you need to do it subtraction in that question. Now, a next question that is Nandini's house is 9 by 10 kilometer. Nandini's house is 9 by 10 kilometer from her school. She walked some distance and then took a bus for 1 by 2 kilometer to reach the school. So, Nandini's house is Nandini's house distance from Nandini house distance from Nandini's house Nandini's house to her to her school so this will become the total distance. What is the total distance from her house to school? That is 9 by 10 kilometer. This will be the total distance from her house to school. Now distance. So now she walked. Now uh, what is given? She walked some distance. And then took a bus for a half kilometer to reach the school. So distance covered by bus. Distance, what distance she covered? Distance covered by bus. By bus. But rest of the distance she covered by 1 by 2 kilometer. Rest of the distance she covered by walking only. So, what will be that distance? Therefore, distance covered, distance covered by foot. What will be there? 9 by 10 kilometer. Out of this total distance, you are going to subtract this 1 by 2. So, how you need to do it? This question, find out LCM of 2 and 10 and then you are going to do the subtraction. 9 by 10 from 9 by 10 you are going to subtract 
1 by 2 and then you will get the answer. Let's see. 9 by 10 minus 1 by 2. Find out LCM of 2 and 10. The LCM will be 10. 10. 10. So, this will be 2 5s are 10, 5 1s are 5. So, what it will be 4 by 10. 4 by 10 will be the distance which she is going to cover by walking. So, that will be the distance only. See, that only distance covered by 4, that only we need to find it. So, what we find it out that 4 by 10 is, 4 by 10 kilometer is the distance she covered by walking. Therefore, you will write this. Solutions and then also that how far did she walk? So she walked for she walked for four by ten kilometer. That's it. so. This will be your complete solution of this question. I hope this question is clear to you all. Let's do our next question. So let's start with the next question that is Jaydev takes two one by five minutes. Let's start with the next question. Fine. So our next question again that is related to your word problem of Operations only. Jaydev takes two one by five minutes to walk across the school ground. Rahul takes seven by four minutes to do the same. Who take less time and by what fraction? So the time taken by Jaydev that is given to you that is two one by five minutes and Rahul took seven by four minutes. So that mixed fraction you are going to change it into improper fraction that will become 11 by 5 minutes and then uh, what we need we need to compare this 11 by 5 minutes so time taken by Jaydev what time will be taken by Jaydev that is Two one by five minutes minutes that is eleven by five minutes actually. Then time taken by time taken by Rahul that is seven. That is 7 by 4 minutes. Okay. So what we need to do it here. 7 by 4 minutes. We need to compare these two. 11 by 5 and 7 by 4 we need to compare. So for comparison we need to make it. For comparison we need to make it what? We need to make it. 44 by 20 and other one 7 by 4 will become that will be 35 by 20. So who took less time? 7 by 4 says 35 is less than 44. 35 is less than 44. So who took less time? That is uh, Rahul took less time and how you will be 
getting that how much that you will be doing subtraction from 7 by 4 you will subtract 11 by 5 and then you will be able to know that how much less time you took. So uh, children such kind of a question you can do it with the help of this operations. So today I will be finishing the class here. That's all for today children. Have a good day.